Hey everyone, it's Ohib here with First Update Snow, and I'm here with Team 4946, the Alpha Dogs, and we're going to take a bit of a deeper dive into their robot here on Behind the Bumpers. So I got Liam and Jacob here with me. Liam wants to tell me a little bit about the mechanical stuff on their robot, and also that their robot has no pneumatics, is that correct? That is correct. Uh, this year, with the changes to the ruling that you can't have the compressor off board, we wanted to eliminate the pneumatics because also there is very little space in our belly pan to have any pneumatic components. So we figured it'd be better if there was none at all, and there's less problems that way as well. So, what do you do to substitute pneumatics? Because I see a hatch mechanism here that looks like it'd be a prime case to use pneumatics. So the only really tricky thing that we had to figure out a good solution for was for our hatch mechanism. So instead of using pneumatics to actuate the fingers, there's actually a lead screw attached to a Versa planetary gearbox on the inside of this tube. And when the gearbox spins, there's a block that just spreads the fingers so we can grab the hatch. And we can demonstrate that. I think we're going to get a bit of a demonstration here. Awesome. That looks really sweet. So that elevator looks a little familiar. Do you want to tell me a little more, more about that? So uh, Team 148 had a lot of success with this elevator last year. So we wanted to see if we could use it and change it just a little bit so it was a little better for us. So one of the main things about it is when you're using a square tubing elevator, you have to have a lot of bearings. Those are heavy. But we figured with the, uh, with the round tubes, we could use these uh, hourglass-shaped nylon rollers. So it was a lot less weight than a normal elevator. Awesome, I love that with the weight savings and everything. So, haters might ask, what's with the vector to intake wheel drive and why do you have mechanums on your drive? Um, so we figured with mechanums, it'd be good because we didn't anticipate a lot of defense and as well that if somebody was defending us while we were up high and we were to get pushed, instead of tipping over because there was resistance on the wheels, we'd just kind of slide along so we wouldn't get, any da we wouldn't get damaged. Awesome, and Jacob was going to talk to me about some of the programming and their really cool level two drive off in Sandstorm. So you want to tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. So for our level two, that came together late enough in the season that we didn't really want to add extra sensors to detect how it was going to come off. Um, so basically what we've ended up doing is we run the stilts at a low enough speed that they run against the ground but don't lift the robot. and. The minute they uh, detect that their position has dropped below the ground, they ram down at full speed. So that's how we're able to come down so smoothly. Yeah. Awesome, that's really cool. So, Liam, you're ranked 22nd here on the daily field. How do you feel going into eliminations tomorrow? So, obviously, we would have liked to rank higher, but we had a really tough schedule. But we also are number one in the division in OPR, so we're pretty proud about that, and we're pretty confident going into Alliance selection tomorrow. Awesome. Well, best of luck, guys. It's been great talking to you here on Behind the Bumpers. 49-46, the Alpha Dogs looking to make a deep run here on the Daily Field here in Detroit. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.